Hello everyone, welcome back to the final day of November and the first day of Minecraft and Spigot 1.18. Very exciting day, I've been waiting for Caves and Cliffs for a while so I'm glad it is finally here. Anyway, today we are going to go over how you can install Spigot 1.18. Now if you didn't know, Spigot uses a system called Build Tools to go in and download that jar file, you can't just download it from the internet. So we're going to go over how to do that, um, a few things we're going to need in today's video. You are going to need Git for Windows. This just makes the process a lot easier. So just go ahead and download the latest version. It does support Mac and Linux as well, if you're running on any of those platforms. And you're going to need Java 17 because Mojang decided to make uh, 1.18 require Java 17 to run. So just keep this in mind. You will be needing it to use this. And then if you want any of your friends to join the server or anything, you will need to port forward. I will leave a link to the video we did on port forwarding um, last year down in the description as well. I'm planning to remake this video at some point soon, um, but for now, everything in it is still completely valid. All right, so why don't we go ahead and get started? We're going to go ahead and create a folder on our desktop. I'm just going to name this 1.18 um, build tools or whatever you want to name it. Just keep it like that. And when you're inside of this folder, as long as you downloaded Git for Windows, you're going to see Git back here. And um, one thing that a lot of people um, kind of noted previously is if you click on the jar file, we're going to download and then right click, it's not going to appear. So make sure when you're doing this, you click in the overall folder and click Git back here. And this will go ahead and open it up um, just to make it a little bit cl more clear this time. Uh, just keep that in mind. Okay, so over on the install page, all you have to do is you're going to have to go to the build tools. So you're going to go ahead and click this link, which I will also leave down in the description, and it will download the latest build tools jar. And this is the jar that we're going to go ahead and drag into our folder here. Make sure you have Java installed before you do this. So make sure you have Java 17 installed and you have Git for Windows installed before you run any of this, because it's not going to work if you don't. And then you're going to be very, very easy and quick and just copy this from this uh, page. I'll also leave this just down in the description so you can copy from there and go ahead and enter in here. For any future versions of build tools, what you would do is instead of 1.18, you'll put like 1.18.1, 1.2, just because this video works for all of the versions that will be coming in the future once those bug fixes come in. Then I go ahead and press enter and you can see it's going to start that clone. It's going to go through. It's going to log in. If it log, if you don't have a login, don't worry. You don't need one. Um, but if you are logged in with Git, um, you will have your Git info pop up here. And then you can see it's going to go ahead and start cloning. It's creating all those folders. It's doing all its things. It's going to be building Spigot all up there. Now you can see, obviously, you need Java 17. I have Java 8. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and run this with Java 17. So if you get an error like this and it says you requested a uh, build tools that requires a Java version between Java 17 and Java 17, but you're using Java 8, I have multiple Java instances installed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my way to wherever Java is installed. For me, it's my program files Java. And then I'm going to go into the bin folder of that one. So this is the one I'm going to use. I'm going to use Java 17. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and paste this in. So let me just open this up so you can see a brand new... Uh, look at how I do this. So you're going to paste in the overall path. So I'm just going to right click and paste it in and then do slash backslash java.exe. So this is going to run that java.exe from inside of the 17 folder rather than the normal folder. And then what I'm going to do here is just retype in that build tools command dash jar build tools dot jar and make sure if you're doing that this jar is named exactly build tools dot jar. It's not going to work here. And then dash dash rev 1.18, go ahead and press enter, command not found. And if you get something like this, what you're going to do is you're going to do that same thing, but you're just going to put the parentheses around uh, or quotation marks around the um, Java list and the Java location. So it's just going to be a uh, quotation mark and then the things and then press enter and you can see it is running now. Um, the reason you have to do that is because it doesn't recognize the spaces or anything in the folder names. So it's just going to uh, pretend that it doesn't actually know what those folder names are. So you can see build success, build success, build success, just like that. It's going to start building all of those things here. Now that build tools is done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, create a new folder, and I'm just going to name this like 1.18 or whatever. Open this up and go ahead and copy and paste that spigot dash 1.18 jar. Now, a lot of people got confused last time because the preset type of uh, start.bat code I included in the description um, didn't uh change based on the jar name so to keep this easy this time i'm just gonna say i'm gonna rename my jar server.jar that's it I'm just gonna rename it keep it easy 
And then we're going to go ahead and make sure file name extensions are on. So go click down that down arrow, go to view and make sure file name extensions is turned on. Once you ensure that, what we're going to do is we're going to right click, we're going to create a new text file and we're going to name it start and then replace that dot text with bat, B-A-T. Go ahead and press enter and press yes. Now you're going to right click and you're going to edit with either Notepad++ if you have it installed or you'll go ahead and click open with um, Notepad. And then when it goes ahead and then open here, it is going to be very simple what we're going to do. If you were having that build tools problem with the Java path, it's going to be the exact same thing we just did when we were in the build tools. We're going to go ahead and copy that path and we're just going to go uh, quotation marks path slash java.exe quotation marks. And then this is going to be um, where you're going to set the RAM and stuff. I'm going to do a line below it. So if you don't have to do that, you literally just have to type Java and then what I'm going to type in a moment. Um, but I do just do this just in case you don't have uh, multiple Java versions and you don't want to use your um, older versions. That's not going to work, obviously. And then I'm going to type dash XMX. And then this is where I'm going to set the RAM of the server. So I'm going to do about a gigabyte and a half of memory. And then I'm going to open a jar and the jar name is going to be server.jar. And I don't want a GUI, so I'm going to do no GUI. And the reason I do no GUI is because there's a second GUI that pops up. And then I'm going to add at pause at the bottom. Uh, I believe you can just put pause um, just like that. And this will make it so it doesn't close the window if there is an error. So there we go. That's all we have to put in here. Very simple. Now, if we go ahead and double click that um, start dot that, and as long as our server name jar is named server dot jar, we double click it. It's going to say something has gone wrong because I misspelled something. So let's go ahead and reopen this. Let's take a look here. Um, and this is where our problem is. So it is dash X M X, but then you have to put this right next to it. So I guess that in an extra space. So now if we go ahead and close that and we double click our start dot bat, you can see it is loading libraries and we are good to go. Um, so here we go. You need to accept the Lula. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in here. We're going to change this to true. Just keep it very easy. Switch to true. Now, if we go ahead and restart our start dot bat file, we can see it is now loading up the libraries. It should create our world. We should have our plugins load up. Everything should be loading fine here. Perfect. It's going to allow for access. So I'm just going to say yes to that. And then we should be good to go. There we go. It is creating the worlds. Here's the world files. It is preparing the spawn area. Why don't we go ahead and open up Minecraft and go ahead and log in to see how this server goes. Now, if you want to play with friends, you obviously have to port forward. Just make sure you... Um, do that via your router settings. I do recommend using a host rather than port forwarding unless you have a secure network and you know what you're doing. Um, but it should be pretty safe as long as you're not like publicly exposing all your IPs and it's just for friends or something. And once you see done, uh, type help for help and stuff, you know you are good. You got all your files, your plugins folder, um, you got your server.properties, you got your worlds, your log files, all that good stuff is um, inside of the folder. So I'm going to go ahead and start up 1.18. We started up, we're going to connect with just local host. It should be pretty easy to do. We're going to go to multiplayer, um, just allow access if it asks for that. That's a new thing my soft has been doing. And then I'm just going to type, add a new server, call it local host, because that's going to be my local server. I'm just going to go ahead and connect to it. And you can see we get Minecraft 1.18 server. And if we check console, it will say that my UID for my player has connected. If I want permissions, I just do slash op my username. So op noodle0711 because I'm on my alt account. And we are in and good to go. We can do slash game mode creative and switch to creative mode. Have fun. Use plugins slash PL. You got all your spigot stuff working properly. So enjoy your 1.18 server. Have some fun with your friends. Make sure you're downloading this from official sources only. If you want more uh, performance based, I kind of recommend doing paper. You can download that. Um, but the start dot bat and everything will be pretty much exactly the same, but hopefully this did help you. Um, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next plugin video or 5M video or whatever else you're watching from us. See you next time, everyone. Goodbye.